So telling somebody that they did that good gets them all excited. Then we can always do something better. <coughs> That's your tricky. But we want to avoid saying, you are such a good speaker, but. Because how does that make us feel? She just told me I'm so good, but. The tricky is never the same as the good. The good is this big, and the tricky could be just something little that can make you awesome. So using the word but or however diminishes its value. So we want to avoid using but or however. We want to take a nice pause after we say the good. Pauses are good. Sarah told us last week. And breathe. And then you move into the tricky. And you say, but I have noticed that when you speak, you hold your hands like this. Because you know what? We need to be courageous. The tricky requires courage. We need to have the courage to tell each other what we can do better, what's not working. Set it straight. Don't sugarcoat it. This is the most important part. So tell us straight. Be specific. Tell us the impact. So when my hands are like that, I feel that you're not open. And if you open your hands, you actually invite me in, and your speech could be so much more. So that's when you do when you do the tricky. You have the courage, you highlight, and then you talk about the impact of what needs to be improved. But then we don't leave it there. We talk about the different. We actually provide possible solutions. We actually have mentors in Toastmasters. We say, your mentor, you can run your speech with your mentor. Your mentor can highlight areas right then and then before you come here. I was very lucky to have a very good mentor. So all of you members, reach out to your mentor because they can provide some of that feedback before you get here. And they give you ideas. They can say, you know what? Instead of using that transition, why don't you use this transition? And instead of, at that moment, being still, act it out. And that will be your speech so much better. So that's where we actually make a difference because we actually give ideas and suggestions. At the end of the day, feedback, if you just look it up in the dictionary, is a communication tool. It's just exchange of information. But the value of the exchange <coughs> is the improved performance. A lot of us may not know what we're doing that gets in the way of being successful. We only know that we're shy and we're nervous. But there might be some clues that we're not aware of. And when we hear it, it creates awareness. Some people call feedback the art of creating awareness. Because once you're aware of something that you can do better, you can start working on that. If you don't know, then you can never get better. Thank you.